the Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the Deep Roads, the Darkspawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. It may even be too late, for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Hello everyone. I am back after a very, very long hiatus. It's been, what, uh, 10 months, probably, since I made my last video, and it had no commentary, no voice, or anything like that. Probably a very large step up. I don't expect it to be a great step, but, you know, it's a step. Anyway, <clears throat> what I wanted to do for this was play through one of my favorite games... Dragon Age Origins, in a way that I haven't really seen people do, and I haven't done before. I've beaten this game a few times. Every time I've beaten it, it was either as a warrior or a rogue. I never did it as a mage, which is what I'm going to try and do today. And the whole, just the whole point of this is because I want to start uploading more, and I want to have fun doing it. So what better way than to do a video basically just testing out everything and um, just seeing how everything works out with Twitch and then with this. You're going to see a lot of glitches in the video of this. I'm actually re-recording this audio after editing this. Uh... And there's nothing I can really do about that after I've recorded the stream. I'll go back next time I stream and I'll try and see if I can do anything about it going to green or it just 
I don't even know. Just glitching out. I don't think I will. It might just be something we have to live with. If it is, that sucks, but it's alright. If it's not, then great. But, that's besides the point. What this was, or rather what this little intro monologue is, is real, it was really just meant for me to go over, uh, skip everything I was talking about on stream, because I was talking like it was a stream. Uh, this is really just me explaining what the purpose of this was. I wanted to beat the game as a mage, which I've never done before, and I wanted to do it in a way that just really should not be done. So I planned on doing it with massive armor. Now, normally mages don't wear armor, and if they do, it's leather. I've seen some builds where they wear medium, but massive armor I've never seen a mage wear. I'm sure they're out there. I'm sure a lot of people use it. However, to do that, to wear massive armor, you have to spec into the strength skill, which mages don't really have a use for. They primarily spec into magic. That would make sense, right? Yeah. But strength is required to wear heavier armor. And the heaviest armor in the game requires 42 strength. That's a lot of attribute points. That's a lot of attribute points that I won't be spending on magic. Which really just means that for a while I probably am not going to be the biggest help to my team. But... At the end of this game, I want to be not necessarily wearing the heaviest set of armor, but I want to be wearing massive armor. And I will beat the game however I can. Uh, you can see in the background right now that I am kind of making a just the most beautiful creation. Uh, and speaking of creation, I actually had a little guide for this playthrough that I made where I did a bunch of dice rolls just to see if I could randomize everything. And I have a few points written down, and I will, I'll, I'll show them on screen so that we can both keep track of them. So this mage's name is going to be Hal. You can already see that on screen. And he's going to be an elf mage. You see by the ears, and you could probably tell that. He's going to be a firm believer in the Chantry, so he's basically going to believe in the Maker, which is this version's, uh, this game's version of the Christian God. He's going to be a bad person, and then the subclassifications of that are, uh, and I rolled for every one of these, uh, he is just going to be an asshole, he's not going to be racist, and he's not going to be selfish. So, I, I, being an asshole without those two, I don't really know what the point of that is. So, I guess maybe he's just stupid, and I mean, look at him. And then I was going to fully spec into the survival tree. And the survival tree is basically useless. All it does is grant you a bonus nature damage resistance, which is kind of useless. Because you can get that off of items in-game, or just don't even worry about it, because it's not really that much of a problem. But survival's real perk is that it highlights enemies on the mini-map farther away. Which is also useless, because... In order for enemies to be highlighted on the mini-map, you have to physically be close enough to see them. So, it won't matter. And then I was going to max out the arcane tree, which is basically just the beginner skills for a mage. Ultimately, I decided that this was a terrible idea for terrible people, and that I would just be tempted to play the game how I normally do. So I scrapped that entire idea that I did, and just said, fuck it, we're going to play it how I want to play it. Because I'm going to be tempted to the entire game, and I'm probably going to end up breaking the rules anyway. A little background for the mages. Mages are born with their gift, and there are very few individuals who are. But being born a mage also means that demons typically hunt your kind just to possess your body, because you're weaker to them. Look out! I think Moto Moto likes you. Here he comes. And 
so for the safety of everyone, for the safety of mages, most mages in Ferelden and in other countries are kept in this big place called the Circle of Magi where they can practice their talents safely and also be watched over by the Chantry and their Templars to make sure that they don't start doing evil things like blood magic or talking to demons or just get possessed by demons. So yeah, that's basically all the background for this and the decisions I made. Uh, you know, you can see what's going on behind me currently. Rather, behind my voice, there really isn't a me in this. And it looks like I'm just wrapping up my character creator. So, I will quiet down right now, and we will just listen to me again. Even though you're already doing that. Charmed, I'm sure. Greetings. Oh, my spell! My weapon does nothing. You're in my way. Charmed, I'm sure. Greetings. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. That sounds like a Simpsons character. I think he's perfect. So the background with Hal is that... He's a mage, but he's so terrified of how ugly he is that he's spent years and years researching how to make himself look better. But then he decided that he was too lazy for that, so he's just going to wear massive armor. Like a true chat. We'll give him... He can't really talk to people unless he has a helmet on, so he has to be good at stealing, absolutely. Wait, no. Can I spec out of herbal- I can't spec out of herbalism, damn it. Yes, walking bomb is probably the best perk you can take early on. The vulner vulnerability hex as well. On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhad stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the Circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the Circle Tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinta Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the dream realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon, armed with only your will. <laughs> he looks amazing. Oh, absolutely. No, he definitely is worried. It that he will can't turn you demon. into an abomination, and the Templars will be forced to slay you. This is Lyrium. The very essence of magic and your gateway into the Oh my god, he looks so necessity, terrifying. Child. Oh my god. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you. Keep your wits about you. And remember, the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready. <laughs> the Gordon Ramsay violin. <laughs> so tip is, because I specced into 
what was it? I think it was the entropy tree. So I have, you can see these little symbols in the bottom right. That one on top with the Y button is called the walking bomb. The one on the right is arcane bolt. And the B one is, it's just quick heal. And then when I press the right trigger, that is the second part of my hot skills. It's just, it's just vulnerability hex. It makes it so any hits on an enemy does more damage. But the reason I picked these skills, besides Arcane Bolt, you just start with that. Let me take all these poultices. It's healing. Um, the thing is, when I use Walking Bomb, it's basically just a timed explosive on a person. And then they blow up and can kill anyone around them. So if I go into a group of enemies and I attack one, and I hit him with that, Perfect. Jesus! They weren't supposed to be here this quick. Let's get started. Okay. So, now that that's dead, we'll just sit and wait for my health to fill up again because, Jesus, that was close. I can't believe that I was that stupid. Well, I mean, just look at him. He's not a smart man, Jenny. But he does know what love is. Someone hey, else so thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. <laughs> you're a talking rat. <laughs> you around. think you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. Now that I see this, it's I'm just imagining the, the, the riff but it's from not your Bird fault. over the rat. <laughs> You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Well... Mouse. Not your real name, no. I take it? I don't remember anything from... before. The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they Person's did to me, already. I think. I have no body to reclaim, and you don't have much time Sedge. before you end up the same. That has no, been said happen, before, right? but you don't know the danger. There's something here, contained, just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it, if you can. We're going to try and go for out. as much XP as or possible. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you, a test for you. A tease for the creatures of the Fade. I don't understand why this test you is so You would be weird. a fool to just attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. There are others here. Other spirits. Well, I've played through this they already, will so I know that this guy is full of Maybe shit. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see, I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago, but you, you may have a way out. The state of California at all times. Another spirit this spirit way. Spirit of Val. Shut the it fuck up. It never seemed equal to its name to me. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your metal with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. They would have you battle a demon. With magic or weapon, to be the victor makes you a warrior still. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. I need your help. You are not the first mortal to seek my aid. I am not here to assist you, however. My purpose is to seek perfection, creating the ultimate weapon for the pursuit of valor. Would one of these weapons affect the demon? Without a doubt. In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Oh. Do you believe they draw blood? Time to drink. A weapon 
is a single need Regular for battle. water. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you. Yes. If you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. Okay. As you wish, mortal. We battle until I am convinced you are strong enough to defeat your demon. If you do not convince me, I will slay you. Are these rules understood? Our duel begins now. Fight with Valor! No nope. enemies approaching. Watch this. Walking bomb and then I just run away. Enough. Your strength is sufficient to the task. The staff is yours. Is there any other way you can help? Short of battling the demon for you. No. Will it stay with me? I suspect today? not. We so are indeed. May you find glory. Okay, cool. Now I have a staff. You have Valor's staff. There is nothing else I can do for you. Okay. <clears throat> Be cautious. There is another spirit here. Not the one hunting you, but still. I know. Look. Sloth demon. Takes this form of a bear scarm, which is a bear that's been infected by the dark spawn. So now it's kind of mangled and looks somewhat like a rabies infested scrotum. Mm. So, you are the mortal being hunted. And the small one, is he to be a snack for me? I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We... General Mouse. No matter. The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. Shut up. What kind of... No. Well, why wait for scraps? Can get some now. Okay, you'll just run away. I'll not waste time with a chase. <sighs> not even for a meal. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother. You I help have you. a very nice staff. <sighs> why do you need me? Go. Use your weapon since you have earned it. <sighs> Be valorous. Mm. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form. Years ago. I, I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? It's true. Let me find the demon. I am quite powerful in this form. You know, no, maybe I will help Mouse, just so you get context for why I hate him. I welcome the opportunity, if it is my choice. The mages in the tower are quick to volunteer others, as you well know. I'll try. <clears throat> I'll try to be a bear, if you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm hmm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. Epic, we got another viewer, that's cool. Mouse wants to learn, teach him. Bastard. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, I'm great at and riddles. I will devour you both. The decision is yours. Sounds boggers, not gonna lie. Accept your challenge, Sorry. Sloth. Oh. Well, this gets more and more promising. 
My first blue is this. I am seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? Dude, I watched The Hobbit. I'm great at riddles. Mm. I'm mad. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Let's move on. The second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, children. You use me well. No, sorry, it's the other way. What am I? Yes, My tongue. your witty tongue. <laughs> Fair enough. One more try, shall we? Often will I spin the tale, never will I charge a fee. I'll amuse you an entire eve. But, alas, you won't remember me. What am I? Fucking dream. You are correct. Rather, apropos here in the fade, no? But you've won my challenge and proven yourself an amusing distraction. So, I shall teach you my form. Now, listen carefully. Like this? Stupid fucking Am I a bear? It feels... heavy. <clears throat> Close enough. Go then. I guess maybe we'll be out to help a little bit. Defeat your demon or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. And there is a spirit of rage. Yeah, I know. Hello. And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see cut off right there. Sam, when you're editing this for a video, make sure to cut it off as soon as you it, it, so it comes. Body. Hello. And so it comes to me and soul. And then oh, come get me. I shall. So this, this creature is your offering now. Another plaything as per our arrangement. I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now. As soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. Of hiding. On your guard. Know, make sure that we get the last hit on the demon. Right. Let's get started. This should be okay. Easy. Good. I got it. On. You did idea. it. Fuck. Actually, did it. When you came, I hoped that maybe you might be able to, but I never really thought any of you were worthy. Sounds like your help was unusual. You made Why? made me believe in you. You're a true mage. One of the few. The others, they never had a chance. The Templars set them up to fail, like they tried with you. I regret my part in it. But you have shown me that there is hope. You can be so much more than you know. So what is it you think you can You get defeated from a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. I'm starting to think the other demon wasn't what? my test. What? What do you... Of course it was! What else is here that could harm an apprentice of your potential? <laughs> you are a smart one. Yep, look Simple at me. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust, pride. 
Oh my god, my character looks so cursed. Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. Cool, so we just made a pride demon even more powerful. I wonder if he's gay. There should be a mod that reskins right. the pride demon's rainbow. Say something, please. Jowan? Oh, I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? It was a test of ability. There must be all. something more, or they'd tell the apprentices what's involved. I know I'm not supposed to know, but we're friends. Just a little hint, and I'll stop asking, I promise. Patience, you'll go through it soon And enough. now you get to move to the nice mages' quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here, and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. Shut up, bitch. They'll summon you to the test when you're I've ready. been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. The He's Tranquil will never go through a harrowing. You do the harrowing, the right of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. They're not gonna kill they you, might not, But the right of tranquility is just as bad, maybe worse. You've seen the Tranquil around the tower, like a Wayne who runs the stockroom. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just nothing in him. It's like he's dead but still walking. His voice, his eyes are lifeless. Hey, person in chat, do me a favor. Spread this around. Get other people watching. You're reading too much into this, Joe, and, and you're, you're, you think you're pretty... Uh, I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. I should go talk to better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. Yeah, good. Shut the fuck up. Did you hear me. anything? Is he alright? Is he awake? Why do you care? Are you best friends now? I'm just curious. That Templar, Cullen, said it was the quickest, cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. He must be so me? talented. Someone sounds jealous. I just know I'll they're be talking terrified about me? when my time comes. Like Wendell yeah, was. They talking about he me? up every day for the next week just thinking about it. Whatever. Whatever.